Hey guys, hey everyone, how are y'all doing? It's your girl Twin D and I am back, I'm back, I'm back. Yes, I am feeling so, so, so much better and thank you guys for all your good wishes and your prayers and your love. Thank you so, so much guys. Listen, I, I'm here, I'm happy, I'm healthy and yeah, I gotta learn when to take a break. You know, I think helping is my kryptonite. <laughs> If if I don't if I if I don't feel like I'm helping, I don't feel like I'm doing anything and I always wanna be there for everybody, I always wanna help. But guess what? I'm learning because as you guys are also telling me, as I'm always telling you, <laughs> self care first, right? Self care first. And thank you guys for always reminding me. Thank you guys for your love. Guys, I appreciate you so so much. Yeah, because everybody needs a little talking to no one again, right? <laughs> Anyways, oh, and I have me some new crystals here. These were sent to me by a subscriber, Jasmine 111. Thank you so much, Jasmine, for the gifts. I love the crystals, and they came with this feather with the the bell on it. So thank you, thank you, thank you so, so much. Mwah. Love it. Anyways, let's jump into your message, guys. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. All right, let's see what's going on. Let, let's see. Let's see what, what I have to figure out because trust me I know there's a lot that I have to catch up on here So let's see what's going on with your divine masculines. Let's see what's affecting them What's the main issue I should say what, what's the main issue with these divine masculines right now? Oh My god, oh my god <laughs> Wow my first day back, they want to give me stress, 222, two, two, and this is a number two. This is a cycle that some of these divine masculines have to break free from. Some of these divine masculines here, their major issue here is trying to break free from the status quo. Trying to break out of the matrix, as they call it. Trying to do their own thing. So their major issue here is society. Tradition. And their own thoughts, them trying to break free. Yeah, they're they're gonna be putting in some sort of movement here. Trying to break free from that. For most of them here. This is definitely an issue in regards to how they feel, how they think others look at them or rules that they think they have to follow. So this has a lot to do with tradition and society. Wow. Okay, let's see what their influence is. What's the influence? Yeah present power yes so they are standing they're standing up okay this is them breaking free all right this is the influence their present power standing in their power gaining control following their instinct mm -hmm. i love it and guess what it's another number two breaking free So these divine masculines here, they're on the verge of breaking free from that traditional stuff over here. Breaking free from the status quo, no longer moving with the, what's it, rolling with the punches. No, 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 no. They're making the old punches somewhere else. <laughs> doing their own thing. They're doing their own thing. Yes, divine masculines, proud of you proud of you that's exactly it do your own thing do your own thing 
Now they're conscious of what it is that they want to do, where they want to be. No longer allowing society to dictate their movements, their actions, their thoughts, their life. <laughs> what is their action? Time to grow. Time to heal. They're breaking that cycle. They're breaking that cycle. Number three. It's time for balance. These life maskings are changing your path. Changing your own path. Writing their own script. Their own destiny. Nothing was changing. Nothing was growing. They were just stuck. Because they were following society's rules and laws and not paying attention to their heart. But once again, that cycle is almost over. And they're ready for this brand new beginning. Oh, look at the cute little face. That's like being reborn. Brand new divine masculines. Just finding themselves and they're ready to move forward. Yeah, putting themselves back together. Putting themselves back together. Their emotions here is what's leading them, it's what's guiding them. This change that they're making is coming from within. It's coming from inside. The influence is coming from inside, their present power. And it's because these divine feminines are changing. Their divine feminines are changing, which is exactly why they're feeling that energy. And they're working on it. Tell me about the status quo here, please. What can you tell us about the status quo? Hierophant. <laughs> the Hierophant. That, that, what popped up right now is, is, is exactly what I was saying. Breaking free from tradition. Breaking free from tradition. No longer following traditions, rules, and laws. I'll do what I want, okay? <laughs> I'll do what I want. I love who I want to love. I don't care how old she is or he is. <laughs> I don't care what race they're from. 818. I don't care their culture. I love this person and you can't stop me. <laughs> you can't stop me. You can't keep me down. <laughs> Tell me about this person power, please. Oh my God. Oh my God, the three of pentacles in the reverse. So these divine masculines are definitely not allowing groups, is what I'm getting. No longer allowing groups to keep them down, to keep them trapped. They're putting an end to that shit. No, 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 no. No way. They're finding their own path forward. Making sure that they do what they want. I, I, I can't stress that anymore. Yep. The Divine Maskings here, they're taking a new approach. New approach with the Hierophant in the reverse. Taking a new approach. Looking at things differently. Mm, listen. I feel so free right now. I feel so free. I feel so free and happy. Because it's like I decide what I want and now because I know what I want and I'm, I, I took that stand, I stood in my power. I feel like I can overcome anything. So they're no longer rolling with the Joneses over here. They're making their own abundance. 
making their own abundance. Tell me about this increase, please. Yes. Yes. Standing in their power. Standing in their power. Changing their perception. Being enlightened. Being what's doing what's best for them. Being where it's best for them. All those insecurities that they had. They're no longer insecurities. It's time for them to express this love. And I'm seeing 1010. It's time for them to express this love. This person is filled with love and they just want to express it. They just want to show it. Society can't stop them now. One, one, one. Look at that. Society can't stop them now. They're moving forward. Look, look, at, look, at, what's, look at what's coming out too. They're in love and they're going to show it. They're in love and they're going to show it. This is a rebirth. This is brand new. This is, this is, yeah, th this is a newborn baby. This is a newborn baby. This person has been transformed totally. It's like if you ask them what happened yesterday, they say, yesterday, what do you mean? I don't understand. They have no recollection because everything is brand new, guys. Everything is brand new. Ooh la la. I'm loving it, Divine Masculines. Let's see what's on their mind. Let's see what they're thinking about here. Okay. You have the ring, the garden, and the moon. So what's on their mind? That Ace of Cups energy. Coming in with that proposal. With that union energy. There's a lot of changes that these divine masculines are making. They're no longer keeping themselves stuck. Because, yeah, they realize that they were, they were the ones keeping themselves stuck because they were too busy following society. And they were conflicted. They were conflicted. But they're not conflicted anymore. Because their true feelings are coming to the surface. Their true emotions are coming to the surface. Some of you, you and these of masculines may have not been in any, in any contact at all. And that's the reason. That's the reason. They're working on their happiness. They are coming forward with this brand new beginning in 1331. And it's 13 minutes. So now they know they're on their right path and nothing is going to stop them. Nothing is going to stop them. That rebirth energy. That self-fulfillment energy. That I'm ready for my abundance energy. Bye-bye, society. I'm doing me. You were too damn confusing for me anyways. <laughs> Now I'm doing my own thing. Now I'm doing me. Let me, let me get a couple more here as to what's going on with them. <laughs> yes! Now I'm doing me. Bye-bye, society. Now I'm doing me. There's going to be communication coming in from these divine masculines very, very soon. Shortly, I'm hearing. Shortly. And that excitement energy that I'm feeling, yes. Because they can't wait. 14, 14. They can't wait to express to you their feelings that they try to exp. Oh, Jesus. 14, 44. Oh, my Lord. 11 11 baby 11 11 brand new beginning brand new beginning 
So yes, yeah, some of you divine feminines here may be of different races. But expect, expect new love coming in, expect joy coming in, expect happiness, expect cycles to be completed. It's time for a brand new beginning, guys. Whomever these are for, your divine masculine is here, they are, they are free. They are free. They've made choices in their lives to set them free. They're working on their pentacles. They're working on, on, on their power, on their strength. And now they're heading towards you. Because they're no longer stuck. They're no longer stuck in society. 1551. They're no longer stuck in society. Let's see what was going on. What was going on with these divine masculines? They fell in love. 1616. They fell in love. And they broke free, see? Liberation. Liberation. And it's that love that's causing them to have this brand new beginning. That's causing them to grow. That's causing them to change. See the effect you have on their lives, Divine Feminine? Mm -hmm. Your Divine Masculines have no time for people who kept them stuck. Your divine masculines, they don't even want to communicate with those people. Because they're heading towards something new. Heading towards union. They have a commitment they have to fulfill. A partnership. Partnership. <laughs> yes. Now they're doing them, right? That's the best thing. Knowing their self worth. They're healing, going through the phases. Now that they've broken free from society's grip. Now, they can heal. And as soon as that's done, 1818, they're on their way to the Divine Feminine. Your Divine Masculines had a lot here. They had to be clever. They had to be clever. They had a lot to fight against. There were people close to them that were supposed to be helping, but nah, help, they helped them down. But in comes the Divine Feminine. In comes the Divine Feminine. That really showed them what true love is. That showed them that they were stuck. That showed them that they needed to free themselves. Yeah, they need to break away. They needed to separate themselves from from those people, from society, from tradition. So now they're on a new path. And that's coming towards you. I took this up on the bottom was new love. I know they're coming. It's always great to see when someone can break free from tradition, you know? Do their own thing. Do their own thing. Codependency. A lot of people addicted, attracted, weighing them down. They were also in that energy of depending on others. I love it. 
I love it. Releasing the past. Releasing those people. No longer focus. <laughs> no longer focused on them. Because they want to get to know you better. They want to get to know you better. I, again, I say it, their emotion is going to come pouring out. They're ready to offer you that Ace of Cups. They're ready to offer you that Ace of Cups. Ready to spend some time together. There. I can't. I can't um say it anymore. <laughs> so keep an open mind, Divine Feminines. Keep an open mind. I'm here in praying. Asking for guidance. Pray. Ask your angels to help you. Communicate with your friends often. So you're in that healthy mindset. Where you're always in the now, in the present. So your mind is not focused on the past. Or thinking too much about the future. Call up your friends. Have conversations. Laugh a lot. Watch the comedies, man. Get into that happy spirit. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. There you go. You got to give yourself permission to be happy. Give yourself permission to be happy. No, no, um, no excuses. I need to be happy. That's it. I have to be happy. I want to be happy. I will be happy. You tell yourself so, and it shall be done. We are the ones who hold ourselves back from our own happiness. Because we keep telling ourselves it's not going to happen. We keep telling ourselves we can't. We can't. And once you say, I can't, then that's where everything stops. You don't even have to say anything else. I can't, and then it's like the whole world stops just because you said, I can't. And once you say, I can't. I can. All the possibilities that come to mind of 222 two, two, and 122. All the possibilities that come to mind of what you can do. Give me a guidance message, please. Relationship harmony. Archangel Raguel. We angels are opening the hearts of everyone involved. Arguments and conflicts are being resolved now. And look out for those rainbows, guys. You may be seeing rainbows a lot. Your blessings are on the way. That relationship harmony, that reconciliation, that ace of cups, it's on the way. It's on the way. Love is on the way. One, two, three. Just remember who you are, Archangel Michael. You're a powerful, loving, and creative child of God. You are very loved. That means you're not going to be left behind. Never. Angel therapy, Archangel Raphael. Give your cures and worries to us angels and allow us to take your burdens. And you have teaching and learning. So you both are teaching each other divine masculine, divine feminine. And you're learning every step of the way. Every challenge you go through, you're learning. And beloved one, Archangel Samuel, I'm helping you with your spiritual soulmate relationship. Two, three, four. And I just saw one, two, three. Relationship harmony. And beloved one, spiritual soulmate relationship is being guided. I'm helping your spiritual sight to awaken fully so you can clearly see heavenly love. That's for the masculines. That's why they were able to break free. Because the angels are in the background working. You just got to trust. Take care of yourselves, everyone. Love you all. And I'll see you later. Let go and let God.